Hey, what you doing? You were in the middle of a math test? Then I did good, huh? Okay. Gotta go to the office real quick. Oh, she didn't make nearly as much noise as I did. Welcome Home Blog, the number one site for videos of surprise military homecomings. 
Visit welcomehomeblog.com to see the newest video every day. Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> All right, girls. You ready to CrossFit? Yeah. All right. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right. One wave. Here at Bicker Dyke Elementary School in Russell, Kansas, one fifth grader is about to get a very big surprise. It was a surprise weeks in the making. My whole intention was to surprise the whole family, but then I figured I couldn't get a ride from Hayes, so I had to let my wife in on it. And uh, so she came out and I was, well, that's just a surprise our youngest one. So while his fifth grade daughter, Emma, took a water fountain break, Sergeant Schroeder snuck in and anxiously sat at her desk, waiting. What took you so long? I've been waiting here forever. Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Dad. I just came in school, sat and started learning stuff, I guess. When I came back in and I saw him and all that, I started crying. Sergeant Warren Schroeder is part of the National Guard and left for Iraq this past October. His deployment is for an entire year, but he was able to take a two-week leave. It's hard to put into words, and we don't get a call home every day. Or, but, I mean, the media has gotten a lot better where we have, you know, email and stuff, so it's a lot easier to communicate, but it's still not the same as being here. Being here and having some lunch sharing stories and cinnamon rolls, and enjoying some much-needed family time. Sergeant Schroeder will only be home for two weeks, and it's back to Iraq and work. He hopes to be home in late October. In Russell, Enrique Ramirez, Cake News. Which one's What took you so long? I've been waiting here forever. Well, hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Dad. Surprise? Didn't know I was coming home, did you? Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad. Hi. What are you doing to the dog? Raymond loves Carol. Ready, set, on your mark, get set, go. The help of yeah, use the sharp, <laughs> use the sharp part. Oh, that was, it was upside down. Okay. Oh, I don't know what it is. Ow. 
Do you need some help with that? No. Because they might be able to help you. since we dated and we, we started dating our sophomore year in college. It was a sense of pride in me, you know, that I was able to do this for, but at the same time, you know, just a lot of anticipation and anxiety because uh, I can't wait to see her reaction is. In November, as soon as I walked in the door, I loved the house right away. He was kind of like down and out because he was like, you know, I think that house is going to come through. And he didn't really give me a, you know, reasons why. I just was like, okay, it's okay, you know, I'm sure we'll find something else. But inside I was like, oh, that house is so beautiful. And so I just felt like we were just still house searching. The day came. <laughs> he just tell me a story like, Jill just called me and she said that, um, you know, that house we went to see, it didn't go through with the um, buyers and um, she told us to come look at it. As I walked my wife up to the house, I was still kind of nervous because uh, it was still big for me and it hasn't sank in and, and, and might not, you know, sink in for years and years to come now. I came in and he told me to look at this um, certificate that was on the counter. It was just like, you know, this is your house and it had the address and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sin. No. This. <laughs> oh my god. I am surprised. Well, I shouldn't have been because when this man gets his mind set on something, it's done. No clue whatsoever. I just thought, well, we love the house and. I'm sure we'll find another one, but this was the house that when we first came in, I just just fell in love with it, and it just I'm so happy right now. Veterans United laid out the steps uh, for home ownership. Just, I mean, it was just seamless. Uh, you know, through each process, you know, there was someone that actually, you know, facilitated my way along the process and just made everything so easy. Wow. I'm definitely indebted to uh, Veterans United Home. I mean, I'm surprised, but I, I mean, I shouldn't because he's always surprising me with things. But this one was a really big one. He pulled it off. I would never forget it. This is being a surprise in my life. Mm -hmm.